Okay, folks, what you're looking at there are Pacific Madrona trees. Latin name is Arbutus Lincesii. They are only found here in this part of Canada, southern Gulf Islands, and uh, other coastal areas of rocky or sandy, fast-draining soil. They're one of the most difficult trees to transplant. They're one of two species of BLEs, broadleaf evergreens, found in all of Canada. The other one is a Pacific wax myrtle, which is also found on our coast. We have some in our garden. So, I'm going to show you how to propagate the berries if you want to grow these trees, because they're very difficult to transplant from the wild. But if you sow the berries, the berries have seed in them, you can uh, grow these yourself. They're everywhere. These trees are everywhere here. They look tropical. The bark peels like eucalyptus. And uh, like I say, they're green year round. They bloom in the spring and they have these berries on them, which drop. We have towering specimens. These ones I grew from seed 30 years ago. That's just throwing uh, berries there. A lot of people confuse them with uh, eucalyptus trees. They're not related. So let's show you how easy it is. And uh, you can do this yourself if you can get a hold of some berries. I just shipped some uh, berries to Nova Scotia. So it's as easy as this. Get a seed tray. I've got the seed tray ready. Sprinkle them on top. Late November right now. The berries will deteriorate over winter. The seeds will come out and uh, get their cold stratification. And in the spring, maybe June, you will start to see seedlings emerge, providing nothing has eaten those berries off of there. But I collected these ones at Fernwood Cafe the other day. Once the trees become root bound in these little pots, they fill the uh, roots up in the pots. You can uh, slide the pot off easily and transplant them without root disturbance. So that's how easy it is to propagate Arbutus trees, the native Arbutus tree in Canada. And uh, they don't like extremes. They don't like extreme heat, humidity, or cold, right? So I don't think they will survive back east, but you could try them in Atlantic Canada on the uh, east coast, like where I've shipped some berries. It'd be very interesting to see if they would actually survive the winters there. I'm so curious. I hope they do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, when you plant them, fast draining soil, that's what they need. Extremely fast draining soil. Plant them where you want them and do not try to dig them up and transplant them later because they hate root disturbance. All right, cheers to you. And uh, we'll come back to this in the late spring and we'll see how things are going. Take care. From Salt Spring Island, Gulf Islands of Canada.